what we're what we're dealing with is a purposefully it was not by accident engineered biological war that will soon become a world war and, and I'm not saying these words lightly because what happens here goes around the rest of the earth wherever the Gulf wind blows the Gulf water flows and they're all connected jet stream water streams it's going to end up being a world war because horizontally transferred synthetic genes extend their silent tendrils through the water in the air. It's already begun to abruptly manifest in the fish, the birds, mammals, which includes dolphins, whales, and even humans. So I look at it this way. And this is my personal opinion, but it's based on exactly what's going on in the Gulf. What's taking place in the Gulf of Mexico is nothing less, in my book, than officially authorized bioterrorism for those of us who live on the Gulf Coast. The Gulf Blue Flag, as I call it, is sanctioned bioterrorism. Oh, yeah, I know that's a big word. We're not supposed to use that word because we have lots of fake terrorists out there. You know, people that have been dead who still end up on videos. That's another show, too. And I don't like getting into politics. You've never heard me speak about politics because I just think it's a waste of time. But let's call things for what they are. This is not political, except for the, the truth that everything about the Gulf of Mexico that has or hasn't been done has cleared through the executive office in the District of Columbia with the commander-in-chief, Obama. He said so. And he said that's the way it was going to be. So that's why I say this is sanctioned bioterrorism, because it had to be approved. He said so. And the genetically engineered, it's called synthetic, genes in the bacteria that feed up the soil and the gas exist. So let's stop playing games. You know... I'm not going to shut up about it because I live here, and I'm going to keep on digging, and I'm going to dig even further, and I'm not going to be threatened like I have been. It's not going to bother me because I'm sorry I live here. This is my coastline. It's my family's coastline. It belongs to my neighbors. It belongs to my friends. And we're not going to have, I'm sure not going to have anybody turn around and pull games with me and try to have my electric cut off and all that kind of junk. Or turn around and send me threatening, non-traceable emails that come out of some server in China. Okay, I know those games. Uh, it's still not going to shut me up. I know who the enemy is here, and this is sanctioned bioterrorism. It's officially sanctioned. It didn't happen by accident to introduce genetically engineered genes. It didn't happen by accident. It happened so they could eat up this continual flow of oil and gas. And it's the only way they could do it. It's the only means they had. And I've even had one person comment to me, well, you know, we, we have to understand that there are uncontrollable circumstances, but they did it for the good of the people on the Gulf. Uh, they had to find a way to eat up the oil, and they had the technology, uh, thanks to people uh, like, like J. Craig Venter and all the synthetic genomics uh, people, including the company by that name. They had the technology, so they had to use it. Um, no, they didn't. <laughs> they didn't have to use it, but it was basically a great way to cover up the fact that there's a continual flow, and it's never just been a spill, and they continue to use it. And they continue to spray, basically, earth elements that are necessary for this bacteria to do that job. So, who's our enemy? I mean, let's just look at the bottom line with all this. We live on the Gulf. Who's doing this? Who waged this war against not only us, but really against the entire Earth, because whatever happens here, air and water, it's, it flows. And that means it, it, it has to affect, and it, there are already signs of it, affecting the entire, entire planetary biosphere. 
And that affects everything that dwells on this planet, from plants to people. So our real enemy is whoever ordered the use of synthetic genomics in the Gulf of Mexico. That's pronounced uh, POTUS, P-O-T-U-S. Uh, some of you know what that means. Yes, I'm being sarcastic. And that was for the purpose of, of crude oil bioremediation, as they call it. Well, it's actually synthetic bioremediation. And whoever ordered that, which is pronounced P-L-T-U-S, POTUS, the White House, he said so. We're also joined in locked arms by those in authority in the states, and that's pronounced governors, who have knowingly allowed it to take place, while usually accepting lots of free money, and that's pronounced bribe, for advertising deliberate lies to the public. Come on down, the water's fine. Our seafood is great. In fact, now we're going to shove it in, in to the military and make our soldiers eat this contaminated death food. I'm not exaggerating in the least. So they're all responsible. That's who the enemy is with this. It starts from the top and goes down to the local level. And just because you accept a lot of tourism dollars for fancy ads, yeah, sorry, that's a bribe. In my opinion, that's, that's a bribe. I've lived in a lot of third world countries. I've never seen bribes like happen around here. So it's really by their actions, all the people involved, those who have knowingly allowed it to take place on a local and state level, and even right up to the executive office, because he said nothing would be done without it being approved through his office. So by their actual actions, I look at it very simply. They've declared war against all of us on the Gulf Coast. There's the bottom line in my book. You know, you can call it whatever you want, but in my opinion, I call it sanctioned terrorism. More specifically, sanctioned bioterrorism. And even more specific, sanctioned synthetic bioterrorism. I take it personally because it doesn't just affect me. It touches every member of my family and my wife's family and my friends and my neighbors. And that's why I take it personally. And that's why I say it's a synthetic bioterrorism, and it's been officially approved. Now, some have said uh, on other radio shows it's a military action. Yep, sure is. Who do you think the commander-in-chief is? And he's the one who said everything goes through him. You know, it's not to put blame. I just think we have to identify the enemy here. And yes, that is an enemy. Somebody who sanctions dangerous biology engineered means to eat up oil and cover up whatever took place on February 13th of last year. If that affects me, and it affects my neighborhood, my family, and it is affecting all of us all along the Gulf Coast, some are bothered by physical symptoms at all. Some are absolutely destroyed by it. It seems to be very selective. But they've got some real powerful weapons in this war. And this is the new Gulf War.